Angle Rules and Reasoning, Grade D GCSE. Again, possibly could be considered Grade C because it's towards the end of the exam paper. Um, but really, the, 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 the skills required in this are no more than Grade D. Um, work out the same size of the angle marked X. Well, we've got a triangle here. Um, we should be noticing that these lines on here tell us that these two sides are the same and therefore the triangle is isosceles. Isosceles. And that tells us that this angle is 65. Okay, so our first reason is um, we're going to call that angle A. 65 because isosceles triangle isosceles triangle it's not important well it's important to spell things right but it won't actually matter if that's not spelled correctly as long as you have it so that it's clear what it is um, and then from there angles in a triangle add up to 180 so x plus 65 plus 65 equals 180 so x plus 130 is 180 so x equals 50. Three marks. Now this is a star question because you must give these reasons. Without the reasons if you just got to 50 it's worth two marks. Um, there would be one mark for um, this method so if you had something that, that you have to have the 65 in there and uh, you're trying to do 180 take away 265s or take away the 130 as long as you've shown that you've got both the 65s that gives you one mark two marks for the 50 three marks for explaining it carefully